The game will look like this. It will ask you to choose rock, paper, scissors. You choose it, and then the computer will also have chosen one of the three, and now it tells you if you won or lost. The game is random, so it will it will be okay. So what we can do first is we import random. We need to do this so that the computer can generate random numbers. Next, we will import math. We need to do this so we can get a random number, 0, 1, or 2, which will then convert to the rock, paper, or scissors. So this code here is going to allow you to make this input here and, and actually type in your choice of rock, paper, scissors, and then it saves that as variable. And if you like crypto, you can do your crypto taxes at shibainutax.com. Uh, check that out in the link below. So now you can allow the computer to pick a random number here uh, by doing this, and it will always be a number in between 0 and 1. Okay, so this is going to be inside this interval here. But we don't want that. We want an integer 0, 1, or 2, or you could do 1, 2, or 3. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to use this math.floor. What math.floor is, is it takes the random number here. Well, first we multiply it by 3. And basically, if we have 2.8, it's just going to be 2. And if you have 1.1, it's going to be 1. It just cuts off the decimal place. So if you have 0 0.3, it's going to be 0. right? So when you multiply that number by 3, now it's going to be a number between 0 and 3. It's going to be in this interval. And so then we will cut off the integer, uh, the numbers after the decimal place, and get the number between 0, 1, and 2. So next, we are creating this dictionary here to be able to convert the 0, 1, 2 to RPS, or rock, paper, scissors. So let's see how we're going to use that now. Computer's choice is going to be D of R2. So R2 is that number 0, 1, or 2, and then this D is converting that 0, 1, or 2 to the R, P, or S. So now the CPU choice is going to be either R, P, or S character. So now you have your choice, which you entered. Remember, you entered up here either R, P, or S. And now all we need to do is do all this stuff, which is a lot of code, but it's really simple. It's just there's nine possibilities, right? Either one of you can choose R, P, or S. And so it's three times three different possibilities. And this is just writing this all out. There are probably much faster, easier ways to write this all out, but just to make this completely clear for you so you understand exactly what's going on. Your choices are CPU choices are tie, okay? Your choices are CPU choices P, then you lose, right? Okay, and this is pretty self-explanatory. So let's again just see what's going on here. And so paper, okay, so that's the game. If you liked the video, like and subscribe, click on the next one, and don't forget the links below for Shiba Inu Tax. Thank you.